Training for the Paralympics is easier than training for the Olympics. No fight, ah. Come on, come on. You come and watch me train, you come and train with me, and then we see. Hi, I'm Yip Ping Siu and I'm a five-time Paralympic champion. Today, I'm here to read a series of assumptions about me. This is generally a bit more towards the fun side and I, I, I like fun things. Who doesn't like fun stuff? Okay, I'll restart that off. Yip Ping Siu is the Iron Lady of the Paralympics. At this rate, more people will know how to sing our national anthem. <laughs> oh, that's so nice, but I hope that Everyone already knows how to sing our national anthem, right? When I was young in school, like I would be the one singing the loudest. Like everyone could hear me. Mainly because I like singing and secondly because it's our national anthem, so like super loud and proud about it. This was honestly the first time that um I felt so emotional on the podium. It usually doesn't set in until like a day or two later that I feel the emotions. But this time it was pretty immediate, I think, because um leading up with the pandemic and everything, it has been an extremely difficult cycle. Felt surreal that we are finally here again but also at the same time very grateful for all the support that I've received how my team and the people around me have constantly encouraged me and helped to push my boundaries ah, <laughs> her face should be on my low too <laughs> this this year especially a lot more corporates have reached out we have very strong support from our national sporting associations from the sports institutes from sports singapore but then uh, if the corporates could do a bit more to, to show that they're really like proud of us and support us on this journey it'd be really really awesome I can choose a favourite cuisine but it's very hard to choose a favourite food like my guilty pleasure are french fries Okay, I believe everything in moderation, okay? So I, I eat a bit of everything. <laughs> Next question. Paralympians and Olympians are essentially the same. Essentially, they are supposed to be parallel because that's what Paralympics means, parallel to the Olympics. So it's same, same but different, you know? Games happen at different times, uh, same location, same place. Other than that, I would think that the training is very similar. The commitment we put in, it's uh, similar. It's essentially different competitions, but I think the effort and the values that they inculcate are the same. Training for the Paralympics is easier than training for the Olympics. No fire. Come on, come on. You come and watch me train, you come and train with me, and then we see. I wouldn't say so much that it's Olympics versus Paralympics. I think it's really of a different sport kind of thing. So a lot, a lot of people think that being an athlete is just about training. People think I'm very free because I train in the morning and then I go back and rest and then I train in the afternoon again. Your entire life really revolves around being an athlete. In the Singapore Sports Institute, we have a whole range of uh, sports scientists. So these sports scientists work as a group to form uh, our FSP. I think it's called the Functional Sports Programme. To every sport or like every athlete, there are seven of these. Uh, there's a dietitian, a psychologist, a biomechanist, a physiotherapist, SNC coach. Oh no, who am I missing up? So these are the various things that will essentially help a high performance athlete to improve even more. You've done a lot in training already, but you need all these um, small little things to take off the milliseconds. We don't only work our body, we also work our brain, so psychology is important. We do like a goal setting, visualization, but at the end of the day, we know that we are all working towards the same goal which is to help the athlete perform. Yip Pin Siu has been competing for so long, she may retire soon since she's won so many medals already. Ah! <laughs> I mean, when I was 16, I thought I was going to retire after Beijing. And then I went to London, and then I went to Rio, and then I went to Tokyo. And then now I know I want to go to Paris in uh, that three years' time. No, in two years time, oh my gosh, time flies. And then you know when I talk about retirement, people think that I can retire from life. <gasps> but guys, no, it's just retire from swimming. Then I have to go and find a job and live life. The current job I have is the best job in the world because which other job lets you take an afternoon nap? So what's going to be your next job? I want to open a swim school. <laughs> Don't know, maybe I'll open a restaurant. Y'all come and visit me, okay? At least do it for the money rather than for the love of sport. <laughs> Who actually starts off doing sports with the intention of the money, right? I mean, if you want the money, you would be in private banking. So for me, I've been swimming competitively for 18 years. I've been telling my friends this year that if I put in as much effort into a baby, my baby will be in A-levels right now. Sometimes it's uh, knowing that I want to eat more for dinner, so I shall swim more. <laughs> Para athletes need special venues to train. So for example, if they need more support, then 
yes, they will need adaptive equipment, which is um, available in quite a few gyms now uh, in our active SG gyms. But uh, otherwise, I think for myself, like I don't need a special swimming pool. I can go into any swimming pool. Facing stares from stranger as a person with disabilities is tough. It's something that has been a regular in my life ever since I was young. But uh, when I was very young, my mum told me this. When somebody stares at you, you just stare back. And I think it works. <laughs> you know, like sometimes people stare at you not knowingly that they are holding their gaze a bit too long, making you feel uncomfortable. But if you look back at them, then they will realise that, eh, what am I doing? I actually think the tough thing is not really the stairs, but for me growing up, the tough thing was actually not seeing representations of other people with disabilities. At that point in time when I was young, I actually felt very alone. Like, why was I the only one with a disability? It's hard for persons with disabilities to play sports. I would say it's not difficult, but the choices of sports are limited. So we do have a lot of programs where you can come and learn to play and things like that. You know, you start somewhere, you fall in love with it, and then you find your community. There are some like learn to play programs. I know there's learn to learn to swim, learn to sail. I tried sailing once, I didn't like it. I think cause the person I sailed with was very uh, reckless. <laughs> Half the time I was like, oh my god, let's go back to land! You must be talent spotted to train for the Paralympics. Uh, I was talent spotted. <laughs> I started when I was five years old. I swam every Sunday morning with my brothers. I went for my first competition. I did pretty well. And then I started to join the elite team when I was uh, 12. Now it's easy to reach people. You know you know that you can go to Sports Singapore and they can direct you to somewhere. You, you know that you can go to the Singapore Disability Sports Council. You have to be of a certain calibre. You can't be just learning how to swim and then knocking on Sports Singapore door and say, Hi, I would like to join the Paralympics, please move me there. You need to be committed, you need to get to a certain level. Honestly, it's, a, it's, it's been a really wild wow journey, something that I would highly encourage for anybody who can. Um, when I was younger, it was uh, not common to hear somebody doing sports. You know, sports is, does have a bit more importance in our modern day society. And uh, I hope to see more people in the community doing it as well. Finish! The end. I want more. No. <laughs> it's funny, it's funny. Thank you for watching this episode of Assumptions About Me. Please like, subscribe and comment. Uh, we, we can form a list of whether you like to come training with me. <laughs>